hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are going to paint two paintings that's the reason i have divided my sheet into two different sections and i am using 300 gsm watercolor sheet and uh, and as you can see i have used regular tape to divide this sheet but i do not suggest you to use regular tape because you need to take extra precaution while uh, removing so try to use masking tape or washi tape those tapes are absolutely good for uh, watercolor painting especially when you are doing wet on wet technique but it's not like you cannot use it as i don't have masking tape as of now so i am using regular tape so likewise you can also use it but take extra precaution while removing it so let's start with the first one so we need to wet our sheet as our as we are using wet on wet method to paint this so the left one is about leaves painting so we are going to wet our sheet going back and forth multiple times it should be quite wet when we start our painting My sheet is quite wet now so now I am going to sprinkle some color so I am using red color and as sheet is wet it is going to spread a little bit and I am also applying uh, uh, color in between with the help of brush. multiple dots of color like this and i'm leaving this area blank and i'm also sprinkling some pink color into it so whenever you are sprinkling some color try to cover the right area with the help of tissue paper otherwise the color will gonna sprinkle that particular part as well but for now it is fine because I, anyways i'm going to use wet on wet technique for second painting as well so that is fine but uh, uh, if you are doing it make sure you are covering uh, the rest of the area and uh, sprinkle some green color as well and you can also lift some color with the help of tissue paper or you can apply salt as well to get some effect but uh, make sure whenever you are applying salt it should not be very wet or it should not be very dry it should be medium uh, in the consistency so let it be for some time and let's start with the second one so we need to wet our second sheet as well but this time I am using white color and water to wet in my sheet. And I am going to use purple color to create some flowers here. So I am using purple color and I am going to create magnolia flower. It's gonna be quite simple like this. Sheet is quite wet. And as you can see we do not have uh, any shape uh, as such so you can give uh, shape to the flower as well with the help of dry brush so pick a dry brush and uh, lift some color whenever required so I'm lifting some color in between to make flower petals like this so uh, lift some color then dry your brush with the help of tissue paper then again lift some color so likewise you can create uh, flowers like this and then you can highlight some of the petals with the help of concentrated color I'm again wetting uh, the upper area of the flower because I'm trying to create some flowing effect so it should look like uh, the color is flowing from the flower into the air. I'm also adding uh, little drops of color And 
let's start with this stem of the flower so i am using burnt sienna and black color but eventually i realized that i am not liking this uh, color combination so i wipe it and uh, create something else into it and you can do it easily and uh, i really want to show this to you guys because uh, this is something important to learn if you are a beginner because you can fix your mistakes especially when you are using wet on wet technique so as you can see i have used uh, black color into it but i can fix this easily so i just need to grab uh, the color with the help of tissue paper and let's say for example if you have added another color which again you are not liking it then also you can fix this easily but uh, you have to fix uh, those things then and there itself before it gets dry so my sheet is quite wet so i can fix this easily i really want to show this part to you guys so that you guys also can learn how we can fix uh, if we have done anything wrong in our painting so you can apply water again into that particular area and lift lift uh, those color with the help of tissue paper and uh, fix those part and now i am using uh, yellow green color to make stems which i am liking so i am keeping it like this now let's move to the first painting again so it is uh, quite uh, dry now not completely but quite dry so uh, we can start with uh, our leaves so i'm using uh, violet color for the leaves and i'm creating one stroke leaves here so if you don't know how to create one stroke leaves so you can uh, watch my another video wherein i have explained everything about one stroke leaves uh, with detailed instructions so you can refer to that particular video to learn that it's simple leaf structure the upper area is still uh, wet that's the reason the color is little spreading but it's fine i think because it's going to give a special effect when it gets dried very simple painting very simple leaves so we are done with the first one and let's finish the uh, second painting so i'm thinking to uh, do something in the lower area as it is looking little dirty so i'm wetting that particular area again and i'm going to spread uh, some orange color into it so basically i'm going to sprinkle some orange and yellow color into it to get some more effect around that particular area and again with the help of concentrated color and fine brush i am highlighting few of the petals mm -hmm. 
we are done with both the paintings so hope you have liked this video do let me know if you have any feedback for me and thank you so much for all your love and support and comments and thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next video